are from the Hoki Women's Organization for Human Rights, Kampopi District. My name is Zoe. I'm currently the secretary for this organization. So we have come to meet Rahulji today to represent our people and also to present some of the hardships that we have been going through since the 3rd of May last year. So we will be talking about the situation that, you know, that's still prevailing here that we would want to you know, put forth to the notice of uh, Rahul Ji today in our meeting, in our, during our interactions. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. 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 These are uh, for women, part of women, uh, women's rights, women's human rights. So we know that it's complete break breakdown of law and order situation in this state. This has been building up. You know, it, this whole situation has been building up for a while now. We cannot access the universities, we cannot access the healthcare, we cannot access anything. Airport. So where are we now? It makes us impossible to defend ourselves, you know. There's no truth to it, there's no justice to it. And so now we want peace, but there can, no, there can be no peace without just, uh, justice, you know. Look at the, the women paraded. all seen justice for them you know and there's so many other cases we were there for the burial so many coffins empty coffins just bones in some and, and the state not <laughs> what has the state done people are in the same relief camp where they were from the 3rd of May I mean meeting meeting you know victims meeting survivors meeting the parents of these victims and no, it's so heartbreaking, you know, you keep meeting people, they are in the relief camps, you go meet them, what hope can we offer them? We are nothing, you know. Did you lose any family members? I almost lost myself, I was the victim. How, what happened? On the third, my cousin had, and I had gone down to, um, there was one wedding, her friend's wedding, in uh, Aiden's friend's wedding. In fact, I wasn't even invited, but then she was going alone. So somehow I just decided to join her. She's a cookie. She's a cookie. So she was driving all the way down beyond the airport, Nambul. I didn't even know the wedding was in Nambul. I just, you know, hopped in the car and then we went. Only when we reached the highway and I realized the wedding is all the way in Nambul. I said, my goodness, I thought it was in Imphal. There's no way we are returning to Imphal. Like, um, and then so then I didn't know what to do. The only thing I could think of was like, I have to contact a major person to save us. And then the internet was just shut down, you know, at that time. So we couldn't really keep in touch with anyone or um, get information out. And then the next day, there was no way we could cross because uh, Imphal was burning at that point. And then people were, you know, going for shelter to, um, you know, to these assam rifle camps. That's the uh, district hospital that we had Kampopi, which is in shambles like this. It's more like a primary health center than a hospital. So the whole district, this whole district, like we, we don't have like proper mm -hmm. colleges, mm -hmm. even the healthcare. Earlier we all would go down to Infar, uh, but now we have to go to Timapur, which is like six hours from, from you know, any case. So there, even in the relief camp, there are people who died mainly because of health issues. Uh, uh, because the district hospital, they, you can't even, they don't even have an operation theater or anything. And surgeries are only like, as if we're still living in the 1950s or something, you know, that the, that the hospital can cater to. You know, all, most of the students, their certificates have been burned down. Medical college in Lamka, that's the only one that, um, and I, we don't know whether it's functioning so properly or not. So the students can't complete their degree? Finished? Not from here. Yeah. Not from here. Yeah, if, if they want to do higher studies, they can't even, like, they have to. Where do they go? Nagaland. 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 So these are very deliberate, yeah. you know, deliberate to yeah. remove yeah. everyone from the bureaucracy, from any jobs, you know, yeah, government jobs, too. or yeah, even in the. And and the situation in Moray is even worse. Like he's mm -hmm. been sending um, Manipur uh, commandos, commandos, transferring, the, commandos transporting them through the helicopter. Mare. And then these people are firing against the civilians there. It's like it's just the village volunteer and people from the village itself, the town itself, trying to defend themselves. So what comes out from the media is Imphal and then they've been writing anything they want. <laughs> 